Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there. I'm Dejan. This is War of the Visions Final Fantasy Bear of Exodus, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the news. We have Final Fantasy 15 goodness still. So there's we're still in the Final Fantasy 15 collab, as you can see, RNA here. We have the Trials of Reckoning coming. Trials of Reckoning is like the box event. They're super cool, super fun. Um, if you like those kind of boxy, grindy events. And if you like events with leaderboards, if you like events where you can just endlessly farm, and yeah, and they're just really good. I think they're fun. Anyways, let's get into it. There's also a new vision card, Esper, coming out. M-A-X Manipul, I think that's what it's called. Manipul, I don't know. But first, let's get into this frontline thing. So super exciting, Guild Battle Supremacy. This is coming, I don't know when we're gonna get the first one of these, but uh, this is a really cool guild battle mode where uh it'll be like you'll be against 10 guilds in a bracket right the guild um each league will consist of 10 guilds that will compete in a all play all matches your rank within the league will be decided by victory points now your rank in the previous limited guild battle will be considered when deciding your group placement I don't like that, because we were third place in our bracket, so that means we're going to be put against some really hard guilds, and uh, I'd rather have an easy ride. Come on now, folks. Just kidding. Hopefully uh, hopefully they're evenly balanced, and it's a lot of fun. Um, at the end of the period, the guild with the highest number of total stars earned by each member wins. So, I, you know, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be, you're going for stars. You want to get as many stars as possible, which ideally... You probably do want to do that on a normal day, but sometimes there's some strategies that uh, you might not personally be getting some stars in order to make your guild win. Anyways, um, quick pick match. Unit level will be hidden when matching. The countdown of the matching will be easier. This is not a guild battle thing. I think this is just a normal PvP thing. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really say much about it what mode that's going to be in porcelain tower so in towers you're going to get full recovery it's going to be set at a fixed time so like now it's really weird it's like 24 hours 24 hours from when you take the first like bit of damage or use an ability or something that's when the timer will start so sometimes you might not really really know when your reset's going to be you might be like well did i attack at 5 p.m yesterday or was it noon there's a huge gap there where you're not sure if you'll be able to reset it or not but now it's just probably going to be at reset. Yeah, it actually says right here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's going to be reset. That's good. That's very convenient, and it's just a good thing to know. Um, shop, add addition of a max selection button, and batch max button. To be honest, I don't know what that means. It's above my head. Uh, they're adding a soul star button to your character screen. So that's, you know, that, that'll be a nice little way to quickly help you find ways to acquire your shards if you have the currency ui revisions adjustments to enable switching between units and esper from the ability board this is awesome so when you're in this screen now you'll have arrows on the side so you can scroll through your units instead of back in all the way out going to the next unit going back in blah 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 you can cycle like if you're in your favorites for example it will only cycle through your favorites super useful Especially when you're building like a specific team. Um, a lot of this stuff is future updates. And yeah, so some of this stuff, addition of JP held sorting option for the unit list. So if they have a ton of JP, they'll be in the front of the list. I don't know why anyone would ever want that sort, but maybe it'll be useful if you're just trying to spend some JP. Anyways, back to the Final Fantasy 15 collab. Now we're getting this new UR Vision card and Esper. My nipple, man nipple, man nipple, man maniple, maniple. Sorry, I am so funny. I am just hilarious, aren't I? Um, it's this robot guy. It was a boss in Final Fantasy 15. If you played the game, I'm sure you know. Uh, it's got area attack resistance up and pierce attack up for ice type units. And when you max it out, critical hit rate up. This is an awesome card. Odin is also ice, uh, the card, anyways. So. This is like, you're getting a lot of area and unit attack resist between the cards. It's just super good, plus critical hit rate. And then for pierce units, RNA is an ice pierce unit. Victor is an ice pierce unit. Laswell has some pierce in his kit. He's also an ice unit. So yeah, there's some, uh, there's a lot of good characters to use this with. Now, uh, it's also got attack up and missile attack resistance up. And 
ice attack up. This is global buff, by the way. Ice attack up and max HP up. See, that's a global upgrade. So that's super cool. Um, and then on the Esper, the Esper has like attack, ice attack, pierce attack. It actually has slash resistance on it too, which is pretty cool. And a bunch of other stuff. The Esper... Oh, don't... Didn't mean to do that. Don't even know how I did that, really. I just somehow dragged it. Anyways, uh, the ice... The ice. The Esper is really cool. The card is super good. RNA is going to love it. And RNA is going to love the Esper as well. Uh, it's going to have a bingo board. It's going to... It's not going to have JP bonus. It's a card. But Kilfey, Titus, and Shell will have JP bonus. And they're also getting their EXs. Three star Esper update. Just man nipple. And yeah, that's it for that. Now, early winter 2021 campaigns. This is just some login stuff. You get your Viz. You get your L pots. You got your Gill snappers. You got your other pots. You know, it's just pretty cool. It's all pretty standard stuff. 300 energy campaign. Now keep in mind, this is usually, yeah, 900 a day on this. So that's super good. Um, story, we're getting a new storyline. So new story chapter, pretty cool. This chick looks like a zombie. So that's a little scary, not gonna lie. We got the books, gloves, accessory, sword. Boom, got it. Trials of Reckoning, this is the big thing. Trials of Reckoning is always super fun. It's a box event, so you basically you farm points you farm coins or whatever tokens whatever they're called and then you open boxes and there's all kinds of awesome rewards in the boxes um let's just get right to the bonus units if you guys are new player and you're unsure what a trial is um i can explain it later more but uh for now just know it's a box event you'll farm an event uh it, it's got like easy mode hard mode and then easy mo boss and hard boss and the hard boss can be a little challenging. They're not they're not as hard as like a level 100 raid boss, I don't think, but they're definitely challenging if you're going for a high score on them. And that's the thing. This uh, this mode is also hugely leaderboard based. So if you're into leaderboards and you want to like just see how you can improve, that's one good thing about leaderboards is you can see yourself do better. You'll be like, well, I did this one team and I was in like. 4,000th place on this on this like total score or not total score but high score But then I made this other team and all of a sudden I'm in 160th place. This is crazy. You know, I like that kind of thing um, but yeah, so This is Basically, we're gonna be fighting the XMA thing as well in here the same thing with the Esper. Oh these uh, Trials also have a lot of titles so to get titles in trials you need to be in top 100 for solo like if you're just going for your own solo title top 100 will get you a title but there's also a title for first place and top 10 and then also for your guild titles um guild you have to be in top 50 so if you want a title for your guild you have to be in top 50 but then there's also top 10 titles for guilds and then of course first place for guilds um and that's how the other ones have always been. There may be more titles in addition, but those are the ones that I know of for sure. Now let's get to the bonus units. Prompto, which everyone has Prompto for free. XL bonus, boom. All right, RNA and Noctis, Minwoo, Kilfe, and Farm. Those are all large bonus units. Then Oberon, Garvel, Victora, Medium, Titus, and Shell, small. Um, Garvel is interesting. I'm not sure why Garvel's on this list. I don't think he's getting his EX or anything anytime soon. But Garvel's on here. Pretty cool, though. Now, JP had summer units on here as well. We got no summer units. So I don't know if we just have less options or what. I'm not really sure. But uh, still, pretty good selection here with the Final Fantasy 15 units. Minwoo is also free. So Prompto's free. Minwoo is also free. Everyone just has to do the Fire Select quest to grab Min Minwoo. So that's another large... So you already have... Now, keep in mind... This is not like a raid. In a raid, it only uses your highest bonus unit. But in Trials, it adds them all up. So if you have a full party of like Prompto, RNA, and Noctis, Minwoo, and Kilfe, and then you bring a Prompto friend unit, it adds all that bonus unit up. But wait, there's more. There's bonus cards. Now, the, the MAX card, that is XL. That is unfortunately not free. Um, Oath of Salvation is L. Then we have all these Titan, Diablos, Black Rose of the Battlefield. Black Rose of the Battlefield is such a good card, so that's going to be awesome for this. Um, and then some Smalls, Frozen Icewing, Glacial, Path of Revenge, Vow of Love, and Snow White Guard. So there's a lot of good options on here. I notice a lot of Ice cards on here. 
And yeah, so it's also going to add up all your cards. So the, the more bonus cards you have, the better. The more bonus units you have, the better. You'll be able to get some really high scores. And that's about it for the trials. There's a ton on here, but yeah, just know that you, you'll you get Prompto's Wristband and a bunch of other stuff. Rainbow Broadstones and Blossoms and all this other good stuff. All right. Uh... Preview another story chapter one warriors of the crystal. So this is like a storyline that goes in addition to the main storyline This is a preview for it I don't know if this is gonna be in game or if this is just previewing it here But we'll get into this in another video because this is insane. This is like a whole nother game mode whole nother um, Ball game and it's basically like another storyline in addition to the storyline We already have so just look for that and it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait and finally, we have, on the 9th, that's this Thursday, um, at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. Eastern, WOTV FFPE Community Stream, Justin and Friends with Justin, myself, and there's no picture of him on here, but there is also uh, another person. It has been announced officially on here. I didn't tell you guys about it last time, because it hadn't. I don't know if it had been announced yet, so uh, I didn't want to spill the beans, but as you can see... The man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Cabbage is also going to be joining us for this. I'm super excited for that because I met Cabbage on the uh, the anniversary stream, actually, and that was amazing. Cabbage was such a cool guy, and uh, I'm looking forward to this stream a lot. I hope you guys swing by and come check it out. Uh, I want to show you guys there will be rewards. So we'll be able to unlock like EXP Cube XL up to 100 of them. Actually, all these add up too, so 100 and... 80, we'll be able to get 180 EXP Cube XLs if we can reach these viewer milestones. So uh, we usually get them. So make sure to show up. It's they're a lot of fun. I'm telling you guys, they are definitely a lot of fun. And yeah, it's just usually lasts about an hour, maybe a little longer. And yeah, just check that out. Anyways, I'm gonna call it there because this video has been very very long. But, just know, Final Fantasy XV stuff collab is going on still, if you are unaware. Um, I will be streaming polls for the new card in Esper on Wednesday morning. So if you want to check out my polls, you can drop by the stream. I'll also upload the video here to YouTube if you don't come to the stream, if you don't want to watch it live. I understand. Um, and yeah, I've, I peeled myself away from Final Fantasy XIV and Walker long enough to, uh, to make sure I read all this news and stuff because I'm actually really excited for a lot of this. I did finally beat the uh, the Final Fantasy XIV main scenario quest for Endwalker. That was really cool. And yeah, so now I'm going to be getting ready to hit this trial really hard. Anyways, uh, I will see you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys on my stream at twitch.tv slash DJNTP or in Discord or just in the next video. So have a great day, have an amazing night, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later, sayonara, farewell, goodbye, doodles, bye!